So I am just using a mixture of tan, white, and just a touch of that dark brown, and we're just getting on a pretty simple background. I don't want to over mix it because I like having the different colors. And then we'll put our gnome right on top. You can also do like a spring day. So like, you know, your, your Bahama blue and some greens and everything, but I want the gnome to really be to get all the attention. So we're just doing kind of a simple background. Now this is in a mixed media book that I'm using. So you can use, you can make, you know, this smaller, larger, whatever fits your needs. Certainly can be done on an ATC card for sure. And usually I do whatever I'm doing on a painting. I am making some ATC cards as well. Look how simple that is to get a cute little background. Now we could go on and really make it look like wood. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. I think that's good for now. Get that kind of like a wood grain look, but if, if we wanted to take it a step further, I would, and I've probably got some tutorials on YouTube. You could see that. I definitely teach that wood look in the group, but love coming together and just kind of taking a load off and forgetting our troubles for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I draw a gnome. You know, there's lots of ways, and I've been doing the same kind of gnome for a long time. So I usually like to start with the nose, something like just kind of get my shape and about where I want it. This guy's going to have on a hat, so I might as well go ahead and Bring that right above that nose, and I guess it'll come up, and then we'll do, we can just have it coming off the page. In fact, I want it to go a little wider, but one of those, you know, kind of like a top hat almost. Let me, let me get a little, if, I don't know if y'all can see my cut, but, oh, this is backwards for me. Let's put the cup here. Maybe y'all can see it a little wet and we can erase that chalk line there. Okay. Now, so there's his little nose sticking out. He's going to have a mustache. So just kind of have that like that. See why I like to use pencil or something? It takes me a while to get, you know, my design exactly how I want it. But I like to show y'all how to do it so you can do it. And then we'll kind of do a big O beard. So something like that. He will have an arm coming out and an arm coming out. Something like that. Now. That, that'll be good for now, and then we can do more to it as we go. This is um, not new to me, but it's an, I'm brand new. I'm just opening it. Uh, Jewel Green. Just pulled this one out of my drawer. Actually, it's been open, but I, it's been in my drawer, so I haven't been using it. Um, I have lots of greens. We're going to put a little clover and all kinds of things, but it's a really pretty green. I'm going to grab a flat brush and we'll start with that hat and just load that brush. So if you're not used to painting, load it back and forth like so to where it's getting really worked into the brush. But don't bring it all the way to the ferrule, just about halfway. And back and forth, back and forth, we'll get that really loaded up. I'm painting on canvas paper, so it will drink a little bit. You know, it's pretty dry, so I'm going to load it up and grab a little white and start painting his hat. Can use the corner of that brush to get a nice clean edge. Isn't that a pretty green? It's a really good spring green. You can kind of see what I'm doing even though my big hand's in the way. 
You guys let me know how you're doing and how your day's been. And has it been a Monday or has it been a good day? <laughs> Mondays are kind of crazy. It's been a great day up until the camera situation. Okay, we're going to put a black. Let's just kind of draw it so you'll see it visually. See right here where that line is? This will all be black. We'll make that a black band. And we're going to kind of come down here and draw our brim. Same green. I'm not changing anything on that. And I may come back and do more. Well, I will come back and do more, but I just want to get kind of the base going here. You could totally paint this on ATC cards and swap and send to people. It is so fun getting them in the mail. Y'all let me know if you've been getting them. Okay, so for now, that will be that. I'm going to let that dry while we go on and do. Now I'm going to come in here. I almost said white and gray. That's what I always do. But I did pull my new Tiger Lily. I'm going to use that for his beard along with some white. So really pretty orange. He's, um, so this is Tiger Lily. We're going to see what we think. I know we'll like it. Okay. Also, let me get out that nose color that I use. This is warm beige, and you can darken it with any brown. Just add a little bit of brown. I think this is probably okay. Let's just kind of get some on here and see. So there's his nose. What I will do is I'll take that brim and with a green and bring that right over this part right here so that it's not given a little brown down here to shade that nose. You can add as much as you want. And then just kind of blend it up, up the nose a little bit. And then I'm taking a little white, adding to this, and give a little highlight at the top. So let's take this orange, and I know this is on a lot of color, so it's probably hard for you to tell. But So we'll just grab that and come along here and start painting his crazy mustache. This is first coat. We'll do more. I am going to grab a little white with this when I come around everything else. Hope that you're having a good Monday. I love to come live on Monday though because it, it's kind of like regrouping with everybody after the weekend. We are going to need to separate this beard from that mustache a little bit. So that's where I'll grab some brown. Let's just stop and do that. So let's grab some brown with our orange and make a little bit of separation here with that darker color. I know it looks funny, but just bear with me. This is a whimsical painting. It'll all come together. All come together. I'm going to bring in a little white, so just kind of throw in some white here and there, and then blend it out a little. 
That'll give him some highlights in his beard. Ooh, that was a lot of white, but that's okay. There's no rules. Acrylic painting is very forgiving, so if you don't like something, you just come back and fix it and keep going. Is anybody painting with me? Every now and then I'll have somebody send me a message after the live saying, look, I painted with you and I love that. I have a free group, the Art and Craft Showcase, that you guys can post your pictures in. So if you ever paint something that I've taught, put it in there so we can all see it. I think I'm going to bring his nose down a little lower and kind of... Let me dry it. Come right in here and give that guy a little bigger nose. Once that dries, I can put some more of it. Okay, let's let that sit and kind of keep on and going and do his arm. I'm just using green and white, so that jewel green with a little bit of white. And I like to paint with the direction of the item. So like his arm is gonna be curved around, so I'm coming down and around so that those brush strokes actually kind of mimic the look of fabric as it turns, you know, like so. And then this part back here will have a different color. This is a round brush, a number 10. So just a large round brush gives me nice curves. And when you feel it not wanting to go smoothly, just add a little water to your brush. Usually just means it's getting dry. Okay, so his shirt, let's see here. This is his shirt. And then that would be his pants down here. So I'll do his pants green also. I get a lot of green on this painting. I use watercolor paper, just cheap watercolor paper for my ATCs most of the time. Um, and then I will glue that onto a plain card a lot of times, or just glue another piece of the watercolor paper behind it. Okay. 
I'm just adding a little bit of shadow. With a little bit of that green and some black. Just come right over that top of the nose there. I'm going to go over his nose again, and remember how we added a little brown on the bottom? I'll be doing that too, but I'm going to just get good coverage on this first. So get this nose done. He's going to have some red hair sticking out now that I'm thinking about it. I'm going to do that with a small brush at the end because we'll want to have some red hairs up here. Giving this guy a white shirt. We need to do another one and make him a Super Bowl shirt. Are y'all rooting for anybody? I was going to have a hand coming over that beard, so we'll go ahead and do that. So just a little thumb and a hand and a thumb and a hand like that. Our beard, we'll come back with our beard. Don't worry, guys. We'll come back with our beard and kind of fluff it out above the t-shirt. So while it looks kind of funny right this second, you've got to trust the process. Right? It always comes back around at the end and makes sense and looks good. Let's do his hands. It's just that warm beige color. This will take at least two coats to cover all that orange we've got. And this round brush will help you make your little curves. Where are you? Now we're going to come up here and fix his nose, so we're going to get out that darker brown. Okay, we just added a little brown to our warm beige, and we're going to come in here and give him a shadow on his nose right here. And you can see me kind of feathering it as we go up to where it's just kind of blended in. And then we'll take that warm beige with some white. I'm going to try to grab this white here. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We'll see. And give him a highlight. Yeah, that's good. Give his little nose a highlight on, on the top of it. Let's grab our green with some white. And I'm just gonna dry brush a little bit of, of highlights up here on his hat. Now remember I said this part will be black, so you can do anything in here and it doesn't matter because it's gonna be black. Just dry brush a little right across the top of that.
then go to a smaller brush. We've got an angle brush. I'm going to get, or I've got some black. That might be enough. It's not. I'm going to grab a little more. I'm going to use the, if you'll, you know, I told you how to load the brush. Then once you've got that nice chiseled edge, you can use that to come along and give you a straight line. And then same on the top. And then basically just fill that in. Is anybody painting along with me? I'm just giving this a funky outline, you know, just nothing. It's real sketchy. It's not meant to be perfect or anything. Just kind of. Now we're going to come in and do some red hairs with a smaller brush. I think I'm going to add just a touch of brown to that. Darken it up a little. And then we're going to, we don't really want to see any face. So I'm going to have his hair kind of just coming out. darkening up this this orange let me just see what color that will be yeah and just kind of having some kind of come out and even flip over his little hat right there And just you can do your beard however I've done them all different ways you can go in and make curly cues or you can just kind of give some the look of contrast in here with this darker color This will have to have an, a couple of coats, as you see. And I think I'm going to change and kind of make his beard more wispy on the edges, too. So instead of like a straight line, I'm just giving it some wisps along here. Now we can start perfecting. As this painting is drying, you'll be able to kind of come on top and do some more things to it. So I'm grabbing some antique gold paint with some white mixed in. We're going to put that down and then we're going to put our gold on top of it. And this is the center of his nose. So something like that. And for your four leaf clover, what you can do is you can do a, like a heart four times. So kind of make a heart with your brush. Let's 
if I can do an upside down heart here. It's not perfect, but it'll work. And then that'll just kind of be tucked in. We'll have something coming like that. And then that, like it's just kind of tucked up under that little brim thing. Once that dries, I'll paint it uh, a different color green. Let's give his hands another coat. I know I somehow gave him this huge swollen thumb here. See that? <laughs> Poor guy. Got major issues on the thumb. I don't even know. I was going to try to make that all one thing and then fix it, but it's just going to have to be, I think. So when I make a tracer for you ladies in the VIP group, I'll be sure that yours is not swollen. I say we give him some cuffs here on the sleeves here. Like that. And then I'm going to take that black with just a little white, make a little charcoal color, and give a little highlight to each all through on the top of that little black part. When this dries a little more, I can do it there as well. You think he's adorable, Inga? Thank you. I am just bringing in a little bit of highlight on the top of the mustache and then some places through there. Oh, let's finish that beard for sure. But hopefully you see that this guy's easy to paint. You know, that it's nothing difficult. Take it one little step at a time. He is fun. Thank you, Taffy. I hope y'all will try him. If you're on my email list, I sent you an email today and it has a free tracer inside. Now, if you're in the VIP group, you already have it, but for just anybody on the email list, they got it. And also, uh, I told everybody on the email list, be sure you're, if you want in the VIP group when it opens, be sure you're on my wait list. Because I am excited to open. I always love to have new friends come in. And you, well, I think almost 
I don't know that we've ever had, I think always it's people we know. It's like you guys who watch me here that kind of want in on the inside stuff because there's so many more benefits in there. So it's always fun to move y'all over from here to there um, because we do a lot and we have a lot of content in there. I'm just kind of playing now, getting that beard or mustache how I want it to look. Let's add a little more on his hairline there because that needed to kind of sit for a minute. And then have a few, see I'm taking my brush now and have a few that kind of flip up. onto the brim of that hat. Okay, now I'm just going through being sure I've got highlights where I want them and shading where I need it. going to add to that hand and arm. So remember how we did, we're going to take that black, add a little bit of white to get a charcoal, and then we're going to brush that on. And just think, simple things like that really help your painting. Even a whimsical, silly painting, it'll still help. I'm going to come up here and do another round of my gold. This is Metallic Glorious Gold by Deco Art. It's kind of my go-to for things like this. They have several. Oh, let's do our little four-leaf clover. Let's grab. Because, um, you know, that hat is so green, I'm going to grab a different shade of green. This is called Green Tea, so it's really light. Not really the exact four-leaf clover color, but I want it to stand out against the hat. Does he look Irishy? Thank you, Sydney and Marsha. Yes, if you have thought of, like, I don't really, you know, if you've thought, I need to take some time for myself, that's what the VIP group does. You know, it gives everybody a reason to come and try new paintings. I go in-depth. We don't really do much um, like I'm doing today. This is really whimsical and um we do whimsical, but, but it's kind of silly, but in there, I really do take time to teach and give you a serious painting at the end of class. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, yes. I wanted to give even the hands get a little highlight and shading. So let's do that real fast. We'll take that warm beige with some white, lighten it up. We did the nose. We're doing the same thing on the hands. So the tops of the hands.
and then I'm taking a little bit of the brown and giving the this bottom part a little shade. I'm just adding a few more wispies where I want them. Kind of get intentional here at the very end. You can, whatever details you want, make sure they're there. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all being here. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will be back soon. Bye, guys.